You may notice that I sound a little coarse today and that is because yesterday I spent whole day talking to other reefers like you at KW Coral Show here in Kitchener, Ontario. And I want to share that with you. So let's dive right in. Yesterday was the first coral show event uh, here in Ontario, Canada since a great uh, Niagara coral show which we had about three years ago. It was pre-COVID. And I was at the previous event uh, representing both Aquatic Log and Treasure Corals brand and I am honored to have been a sponsor for this uh, KW Coral Show event as well. I want to extend my huge thanks to the show host Kevin who was spectacular in organizing uh, this. Uh, the turnout was great, it was amazing crowd, it was super busy. Like I said, I sound a little coarse because I've been talking non-stop and it was great to see a lot of you in person. So thank you for all the kind words, uh, they mean a lot. And I thought I'd uh, actually show uh, some video from uh, this event. Now, this is the first time I was filming something at the Coral Show, so I've learned a few things that I could do better. I tried to do uh, as much um, of uh, dialogue, but it was so busy that I couldn't even talk to the vendors during um, the actual hours when it was open. So I did a little bit of conversation before the show started at 11, and then sl slightly towards the end of the day, I tried to walk around and just talk to a couple of vendors and I wasn't even sure how the audio is going to come through or how the video. I was kicking myself for not taking the orange lens with me because there was so much great coral. And what you actually see here, this was kind of towards the end of the day, so all the good pieces I'm sure have found great homes. But it's better to do this than do nothing. So, and I think there's still some really cool bits. I also want to say that um, I wish I would have talked to many other vendors because they were all great. I just happened to have picked a few that were really close to uh, where I was standing. Uh, but if you've been to the show, please share your thoughts with, um, uh, with me, with the, with the rest of the group on how did you find the show? What do you, who do you think is going to host the next uh, show? And um, from that, uh, let's uh, actually enjoy some of the footage. We are going to a coral show. Uh, now take a look at the weather over there. This is a Sunday morning. We started out leaving uh, Toronto when it was nice and sunny, but for whatever reason, just an hour and a half uh, west of Toronto, this is the weather you are gonna get. So I have an incentive to go there because of me being the vendor but I hope we're gonna, still gonna have a decent turnout so I'm very excited on how many people will brave this weather uh, on a Sunday morning and we'll see how dedicated are aquarists and reef aquarists especially to their craft see you there well, uh, we're about to open in about 10 minutes. Uh, this is very exciting. This is all the stuff that uh, I've been working on, uh, treasure corals for the past, God knows uh, how many years. So starting with some 3D printed stuff uh, that I'm sure you can find on treasurecorals.com to frags from my coral system. So basically everything is in there and we are super excited to open up. And now I think this would be a good time to just show you guys what this looks like pre-open. So uh, let's uh, take another look. And this is uh, hi. This is I'm the Kevin. main uh, main guy. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> how you doing? So really appreciate uh, inviting us. This is very exciting. This is my second time going to this particular show, and uh, you've put in amazing it's amount of great. work. So we're about to get the people in the door in a few minutes, and the lights turned down, and time to rock and roll. Very much so. So uh, what do you expect in terms of turnout? How many people? Well, with the snow, it might slow it down. I was hoping about 600 people. Holy smokes. I uh, would be very excited about this. Yes. So I'll walk around and uh, say hi to the rest of the folks. Excellent. So, thank you. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's going well. How are you doing? 
doing good. So what's the name of the show here? Culture by Science. I love, uh, I love the name. Oh, this is, uh, this is really good. What's the etymology of uh, Culture by Science? Why, uh, why that? Uh, well, so everything. So me and my business partner. Yeah. Um, we're actually both actual marine biologists. No way. Yeah. So I'm completing my PhD, and he's completing his master's degree. Um, mine is in coral regeneration, and yep. his is in seahorses. Uh, he's studying uh, seahorse aquaculture and diseases. Okay. So. Um, and what's your name, sir? I, I'm Zach. Zach, nice to meet you. Yes. Zach. And then uh, this this here's this demo. Hi. Hey, demo. How are you? Good. So, how are you? Good. Um, just show, shooting something for Treasure Corals uh, YouTube channel. So, so we're discussing. Uh, I, I I looked it up. It's it's quite nice. I, thank I, you. And you have amazing tanks, so. Uh, thank you very much. We're both grad students. Yeah. Uh, I study seahorses uh, for really? my masters, and uh, Zach does coral regeneration. Uh, so the the goal, our goal, is to promote sustainability in the hobby, um, especially as, as we see more closures. Uh, we love this, so we want to combine basically our knowledge with uh, with the hobby, and uh, to bring uh, Canada uh, some some real. Uh, wonderful both coral inverts and fish uh, well, to market here this uh, your setup looks uh, phenomenal uh, you aquaculture everything yourself, everything guys? is 100% Every, everything. Really? everything from the fish the the, the bergia yeah. the, the bang guys and the seahorses yeah. and all the coral that's that, that is phenomenal I, I love it uh, anything in particular um, that you're really proud of I'm sure everything is but uh, uh, so I well, I think I think the, the most challenging aspect uh, is the seahorse for sure mm -hmm. um, uh, it takes takes so much time uh, and, and work with them to uh, to get them to the size that, that we're showing them today um, mortalities are still very high so it's it's just uh, it's an ongoing uh, battle with them uh, coral wise I'm really Excited to show off some of our Acropora, yeah. particularly the firecracker, the lemonade. Um, Ooh, so um, higher end stuff, eh? Yeah, we have uh, some two-faced chalice pieces there. I'm um, yeah. excited about those. Thank you. Uh, we have a ton of zoa, um, speckled cracks, some of them, uh, pink hippos, a lot of named, named uh, zoas. Um, yeah, quite yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Some Space Invader, Pectinia, which is not as common in the hobby anymore. Uh, some. Uh, yeah, there's some old school yeah. uh, stuff as yeah. well here. Yeah. So. I love it. And where are you guys located? Uh, we're in Guelph. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. so a, a lot shorter ride uh, drive for you guys. Yeah. Eh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, we only had 20, tw about 20 minutes today, so not too that's, bad. That's phenomenal. So, and uh, so there's two of you for this team? It is, yes. So, love yeah. it. But we, well, have, yeah, well, we, have, we have a lot of people behind us. And we have great friends who came yeah. to help us too. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. Well, thanks a lot. I'll make sure to drop by later on um, just to check in, but uh, very thanks. impressive setup. So like, thank likewise. you guys. Thank so, you. Good luck. Thank Cheers. You. Okay, uh, I think we are starting to wrap up over here. It's an insane turnout. Thank you so much for KW Coral Show for um, hosting us. This is this has been our booth right over here. I want to start with this one first. So still a few frags left. Lots of 3D printed stuff over here. Uh, price tags, well, you've seen it all on Treasure Coral. So let's actually walk around and look at some of the other uh, shops over here. So I think we've got Big Al's Kitchener right on this side. They're the ones that have the best music, in my opinion. Uh, JC, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Say, say a few words for the channel. So, uh, how, uh, how often do you guys do this type of things? Uh, well, now that you know everything's up and running again and open to the public, so um, this yeah, we've been probably this I think our fourth or fifth show we've done really? not this year, but like since they started and stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm really impressed with your selection. I'm really impressed with your selection of coral because uh, usually you know Big Al's is not known for more high end stuff, but here I see some amazing pieces. Yeah, can, that's uh, attributed to Nick, our marine guy. He's uh, Really turned it around for us. Uh, really good guy, super knowledgeable, and and uh, yeah, he knows his stuff. Gets a lot of good stuff in for us. Well, I'll go say hi. Yeah, so. he's the man to talk to. Cheers. I was just talking to JC, and he was saying how um, high end some of the stuff is over here. So I'm really impressed. <laughs> yeah, no, he brought some nice stuff. Not much left though now. So no. <laughs> uh, had a good turnout. Yeah, very good turnout. I'd say uh, it was twice as big as the last one they had here in 2019. 
That is amazing. I like uh, how you've laid everything out. The lights, everything is uh, is very clean. So very good. And I've never seen the um, pipe like that coming through. So this is oh this is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I like the spray bar. Keeps the top nice and smooth. Wow. Less awesome. ripples. Well, look at that. Sixty bucks. That's some nice coral. Maybe I'll be back uh, before the close <laughs> to pick something up. Sounds so. good. We'll All right. Good. Cheers. Bye, Nick. This is Chardins de Mer uh, closing up because uh, this is four o'clock and everything is now wrapping up. Um, prior to that, it was very dark. It was also very loud. It's a little bit less loud right now. So I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out, but this is some of the nice stuff that is still um, probably for sale uh, for the next little while at uh, the KW Coral Show. So let's take a look at a few other spots. We've got a little coral shop. Really like the layout. I like the acrylic. I got the, the acrylic arm for the reef brights. That is amazing. And just something about the reef brights that make everything just pop. So uh, I think we've got Rob uh, from Coral, uh, little little shop. coral shop. Yeah. So how did you make out today? We had a wonderful day. I have yeah. to thank everyone uh, that came out, supported all of us, and uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Uh, getting a lot of new collectors, a lot of new people into the hobby. That uh, it's nice to see, and a lot of us here are trying to aquaculture as much as we uh, we can, so we keep all these species in Canada and uh, enjoy them all instead of losing them and not being able to bring them into our country. Absolutely love it. What about the trachees or uh, whatever you call them nowadays? Like, I mean, you where do you get those from? Trachees, uh, they came in from Vietnam. Uh, it's actually nice. an interesting coral. They uh, they pick quite a few of them because they get quite fluffy and quite overhang, yeah. and they actually shadow many many other <laughs> corals. So it's actually considered a pest to them. So that's one reason I collect them because they're beautiful and. If we can help out their coral structure, then they're helping us out as well. So, Love it. I'll definitely um, be checking you out more. Uh, and is it website or Facebook? Where are you? Website, we have Facebook. You can, uh, you can message me over uh, Messenger. Pretty much, if you can get a hold of me, I'll answer any of your questions. Well, uh, thanks a lot, Rob. Really appreciate it. Good luck. Thanks Cheers. I think we've got the best name for uh, a store here. Coral dudes, sorry, cool dudes coral. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Dimitri. How are you, man? Doing good. So say hi. Uh, hi, to everybody. Yes. So I'm very impressed with uh, some of the stuff. Um, what do you sell the uh, red monties for? Thirty dollars for such a large colony. That is phenomenal. We'll see if I'll be able to uh, come back uh, before it's too late. Royal City Reef. So, do you guys have a website? No website yet, sir. It's under construction. Soon enough. Facebook? Yes. That is Facebook, uh, Instagram, all very, the good stuff. Very nice. And you are the Coral Whisperer. I've seen some very nice colors and apparently you keep it at a very high nutrient level. Is that I correct? Do, I do. I do, yes. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, anything in particular you want to show for the video? Uh, I mean, the black widows are something to see, definitely. I've never seen a black widow. Where is that? Black widow, right here. Black widow BTA. Oh, God. That is... Uh... <laughs> that is that is dope. How many do you have left? Uh, there's two in there right now. Wow. Uh... So they're one of the BTAs that don't get large as well. They stay nice and small. That is very nice. Well, um, I'll definitely... Hope um, people will check you out on Facebook. So, Thank you very much. cheers, Mike. Appreciate it. Bye. Good to see you, man. Doing well. Just gonna shoot a little uh, video over here. So, exotic aquatics. Very nice. I see you've cleaned out quite well. So, just a few things left, which is nice. Nice torches. What do you uh, What do you sell these uh, frog spawns for? Uh, the, the pink ones. Yeah. Uh, the pink ones are normally seventy-five, but for the show we were doing fifty bucks. Wow, that's We're a doing steal. Some nice show pricing on it today. I might uh, come back and pick something up now that things are wrapping up. So this is beautiful. Well, this will be the time that the last hour deals are in play. 
And do you guys have a website or Facebook? Uh, yes, I do. It's uh, Exotic Aquatics. Or sorry, Exotic Dash Aquatics. .ca. I will definitely check it out. So, okay, good to see you guys. All right, this show would not be complete without showing candy corals. The best looking corals, best presentation of everything. I forgot my orange filter for the lens, otherwise this would be popping, but uh, pristine, clean. I'm sure uh, everything is super healthy and some of the colors are just insane. So very well executed. So had a good day. Yeah, so I, I'm sure you did. I hope you have enjoyed that little glimpse into the coral show. If you've been there or you have some thoughts on this, please share them below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.